better than ever. But this is your chance. If you have no plants today, check out this amazing garden that I'm standing in. I know, I sound very happy because I am. This is amazing. So here at the 24th annual East Sac Garden Tour, you get to experience this beautiful garden, not just one, but three, as well as a beautiful boutique, a flower garden, uh, garden, excuse me, and a cafe. So I'm here with Principal Richard Dixon, who's going to talk to me a little bit more because this is the 24th annual. You guys have been doing this for years now. We have. It's bigger and better. I want everyone to see these spaces. Yes, and I'm. this is my first time being here. The garden is amazing. Honestly, the flowers, the people that are setting up, it is still early, but I know that the turnout is going to be huge because I heard you have 200 volunteers as well. 200 volunteers, it's like organizing a grand wedding every year and people can come to the free to enter campus uh, opportunity here. We have local makers. You can put a bouquet together for the person playing the role of mother in your life or someone else's life. Dare I say, if some of the viewers at home uh, just learning that it's Mother's Day weekend this weekend. We've got you covered. You can come and do something really special. Take the tour. Six splendid spaces, and it supports our city's kids. Yes, I heard it's also for a good cause. Mind you, you know that Mother's Day is tomorrow, guys. <laughs> so if you are looking for that special gift, you can come here because there's going to be tons of vendors as well, and they're currently setting up, right? Yep, you're seeing it happening. It's kind of like that morning of, uh, of a big event buzz and and the gardens have never been better they're absolutely splendid i want everyone at home to come see it so just kind of like walking around and just taking us through so we have like a mini bridge here that we can walk over to right and then yeah. there's like a, a sitting step right yeah this this is a space for the students uh during recesses it's a little sanctuary you see kids with their books we really promote literacy here our librarian is is a phenomenon and you see the kids with their books are just hanging out it's it's a little peaceful space. Uh, some kids prefer the hurly-burly of the recess blacktop, but some kids like to just uh, step back. Okay, so just one more time, tell me what can, not what people can expect, but the times, the location, yep. if they have no plants, if you have no plants, guys, might as well come out, right? <laughs> yeah, 10 to 4, get your ticket uh, in person here at the school. Uh, six gardens, they're all within uh, 10 blocks of the school. It's a walking tour, depending on your ability of Course. you could drive get some exercise in you could you could <laughs> and and it's very well worth your time and as I say we can support small group instruction art for every kid music for every kid right. a raft of field trips you're supporting this neighborhood school and come enjoy our hospitality come literally smell the roses <laughs> smell the roses again and it's all for a good cause so I mean Sacra Tina we're calling you out here too smell the roses guys smell the roses. and it's my stay <laughs> Yeah. And Shawnee's blazer looks rose-colored. Mm -hmm. She looks very fitting for a garden. I know. <laughs> Thanks so much, Shawnee. <laughs> Have a good one.